Lightning KO Productions. Shots fired. Good morning, good evening, good night, depending on where you at in this world. It's your boy King KO back with another video. And for today's topic, we got five reasons why I feel like Darius Basil could blossom into a star. This is a new series I want to do on late first round, second round, and undrafted, you know, rookies. And uh, first, the first one I'm going to do is Darius Basley. You know, I'm an Oklahoma City Thunder fan, so uh, I got to shout him out. Plus, I see a lot of potential in the kid. You know, in his first clip, we just got him pumping some arm, getting big, and getting ready for the season that's going to start. But, yeah, anyways, let's get to it. Believe that. Some people say Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now let's get to these five reasons. Your boy looking real dedicated, you know, really uh getting to you know his craft, working hard at it. And as a Thunder fan, I gotta say they got me very, very excited. First reason is his confidence. And on this channel, we got something called Good Rookie Misses. But uh, I'm finna show y'all what I'm Good talking about. Good Rookie Miss is a miss that a rookie confidently took without hesitation. And if you pay attention here, he drove without no hesitation. Continue viewing because he's going to continue showing that he's confident and he's willing to take those shots and those layups. He's not scared of no shot at no moment, and that shows potential of a star.
Yeah, his confidence has gone tremendously since this blue and white scrimmage. And you can just see it in his swagger on the court in his game, man. This kid is ready to really just start adding to his game and taking his game to the next level. Second reason for me is shooting. And in my opinion, the kid has a pretty good jumper on him. I know basketball reference got him at about 30% from three and about 38% from floor, but he's only taking about uh, two shots from three and hitting a little over half, and he's only taking about uh, 2.5 shots from mid-range and hitting about one. So it's like uh, an extremely small sample size, but just looking at his form, it looks like he'll definitely uh, knock him down if he gets in a... Uh, gets in the gym and just get that rep, uh, repetition under his belt. And uh, I definitely think that he's a reliable spot of three point shooter. If you get, if given enough, you know, uh, enough opportunity, but um, you know, I, I think his jumper is all around good. You, you guys definitely let me know what you think about it. It doesn't, it's not an extremely quick release, but it does look uh, quick enough. And, you know, at his height, he can definitely get it all off over smaller defenders and you know just the bigger ones at uh, how quick he is he can definitely go around Third reason for me is the degree of difficulty on his layups, his ability to pass the ball, his ability to handle the ball while in transition, his hustle, his quickness, his lateral quickness, his athleticism, and just his overall quickness. The kid definitely has a lot of athleticism for his size, a lot of speed for his size. And, uh, I've seen a lot of different af uh, acrobatic layups that he tends to go to, you know, while under pressure. And that right there is a sign in itself that, you know, his skills still haven't transitioned to the NBA. So when they do, and if they do, he could definitely, definitely be a shoe-in to be a star. I see him definitely getting a lot of more minutes, you know, as soon as I... Danilo Gallinari is gone, and CP3 is gone. I see him getting a bigger role within the offense. But even while they're there, he still has, you know, uh, times when he can kind of just control the ball and do what he want to do. And when he's in transition, man, that kid looks like a, a greyhound or a cheetah just flying down the, down the court, you know, bobbing and weaving through traffic. And it's, it's really a thing of beauty, you know, just to see him go at that size you know it's really something it's a sight to see it's really something to watch but yeah y'all go ahead and check it out y'all go ahead and look at it
Meanwhile, we are back underway. Steven Adams marks it off of the baseline. The jumper by Baisley is good. Worth the reason I believe he can be a star is dunks and rebounding. The kid is already a good, borderline great rebounder in his rookie season, and he's a very athletic dunker. Uh, I like some of the dunks he throw down. It just really shows his athleticism. And the way he just moves around those power forwards out there on the court, he makes them look like they're standing in place when he blows by them. Man, this kid really has a lot of potential. And I I say athleticism is uh, borderline off the charts. I think he's an underrated athlete. And uh, he's only going to expose that more and more, how good he is athletically. Just his quickness, versatility, quick twitch, muscle fibers, the way he gets off the floor, it's just, it's, it's elite. You know, the way he gets off the floor is elite. And being around players like Terrence Ferguson and uh, Hamadou Diallo, Nerlens Noel, you know, uh, that only got to be like a challenge every day in practice to really get more athletic. Uh, not to forget Lou Dort. You know, he's, he's really athletic too. Uh, I would say, uh, you know, uh, Dennis Schroeder's pretty athletic also. So being around those type of players, man, 
you're only going to get more and more athletic. You're only going to work out harder and harder. And you got to think, man, Terrence Ferguson, Hummy, and uh, uh, Dennis Schroeder been around Westbrook. So you know they're ready to get in that gym and go hard. But, yeah, expect the kid to only blossom even greater for sure as an athlete. But, yeah, y'all go ahead and check this out. And not to forget, Deontay Burton, man, that dude is an athletic freak. Yeah, he truly is. But, yeah, y'all go ahead and continue watching. Believe that. For my fifth and final reason, it's shot blocking, steals, defense, you know, hustle, you know, just his toughness. Man, that dude is, he's hes great on the defensive end. And I feel like that's going to be his first calling card. The offense already comes pretty easy. You know, he plays bully ball sometimes, man. But uh, he's still got a lot of things to work on and develop. But, like, right now, his shot blocking you know, just his defense, the way he moves his feet, it looks pretty good. You know, he's not anywhere near a liability on the court defensively. Uh, he's really a better option right now than uh, uh, Gallinari. So uh, I had to throw a couple of them in there, like when he uh, frustrated Serge Ibaka, you know, kind of locked up Carmelo Anthony, you know, uh, kind of put the clamps down on LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's a good defender already. He really is. He really is. And I see him being elite and probably, you know, the next two, three years, he'll definitely be elite. But y'all go ahead and check it out for yourself and leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, do all that. And after this, I'm out. Believe that. This season, Kevin Love angles with the hole. That's blocked by Follow me on Instagram at King KO All Facts. Like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you ring that bell icon. Believe that.